Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Lady Survival here. So I know it's really late um, for me to be reacting. I've been kind of avoiding uh, watching it. Overall, I haven't really been enjoying Shadowlands or all the 9.2 stuff. Um, so yeah, I just, I, I don't really know what all is going on. I'm not stoked about all the new Sylvanas stuff or anything. I don't like her new model. I don't like just the fact that she's had her ranger general half of her soul restored. I'm not stoked about it. So yeah, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and watch it. What you told me. You all have witnessed the jailer's power firsthand. Without the means to resist his domination, we have no chance against him. And when may be the key, if we can save him from- You dare speak of freeing him after all you have done! Sylvanas held the Mornblade that bound him. Her presence may help free Anduin from the Jailer's grasp. I will never trust her. Then trust in me. Always, Uther. Very well. We will prepare to enter the sepulcher and save Anduin. Together. Do you not understand? This one is bound to me. Whoa, goosebumps. <laughs> Oh my god. Aw! Fulfill your final purpose. Annihilation. The fate of all who carry my blade. Oh my god. My son. Oh my god, Varian! This blade does not belong to darkness. It was forged by valor. Oh, oh my god. Also. Oh my god. And Sarfang. It's oh my god. And ours are with you. Even here. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Let it be finished. God. Oh my God. Arthas. Is this all that remains of him? The last flicker of his scarred spirit consumed in the forges of the jailer. No crown, no throne. Not even a soul left for judgment. I hated you. Hunted you. Aww. And with each selfish act, became you. Oh my god. That is my burden to bear. But your legacy is at an end. Be gone then, Arthas Menethil. May wow. the last whisper of your name fade. Wow. And be forgotten. Oh my god, is that seriously it? For Arthas? I actually enjoyed Sylvanas more than I thought I would. Um, I've been super neglecting this whole change in her since watching Shattered Legacies. I have basically <laughs> been so pissed off about everything and I didn't even want to see or hear anything that she had to say because I just have such a strong connection to the Banshee Queen specifically um, that this change was very like triggering to me and I just didn't want to like accept or see any of it. But they actually did a pretty good job with her and I mean it's not as like cheesy as I kind of thought that it might all be. Um, she looks pretty good. I'm not really digging the armor. Like I wish that it was like more purple and dark aesthetic and stuff, but 
I actually really like all of her quotes and everything and just the closure and just kind of how mature she was about all of it and actually realizing that she turned into Arthas essentially. So that was actually really nice, like just kind of having that moment with her. Um, and earlier in the cinematic when Varian and Sarafang came in to kind of like be that last thing to get through to Anduin and let him break through. That was really emotional and everything. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really, really glad that Sylvanas was able to kind of have that really like thoughtful moment. But I'm also like really upset if this is actually like this is Arthas. I remember um, I saw like a post on Instagram somewhere where it was talking about how like is this really all that we get to see of Arthas? He's just like a wisp now um, because back when we were talking about Arthas maybe appearing in the Shadowlands everyone was like oh they're gonna have to really like you know like we were kind of expecting like some big Arthas cinematic or something where it was like hardcore like how are they gonna bring Arthas back like he's so iconic but that's it is this really I don't know I mean I guess it's good because to bring him back would be a little intense and I don't really know how they would have handled it so it's probably good that this was it but it's also just a little weird because it's so underwhelming but also probably the most appropriate thing um but yeah no I really enjoyed Sylvanas surprisingly um yeah I think that I'm I, I was just being really bitter about it for some reason um it's just not who I picture her to be it's very odd seeing her like this and seeing her not be so like fixed on vengeance and stuff is kind of weird but um yeah I guess it's a version that I could be willing to accept I just don't really like the model I guess is my main thing I hope that you guys enjoyed my video sorry that it was kind of late um what were your thoughts on it how do you feel about the new Sylvanas and stuff I just I don't know. It's just it's just really odd. I feel like I've spent so long building a connection towards specifically the Banshee Queen and now it's like just different and I don't like change. Like I don't like the fact that I was so invested in one character and now it feels like she's someone else. Um, but I don't know. I guess it's not that bad. Um, I can probably adjust to it a little bit but I'm still always going to specifically like uh, the Banshee Queen as she was uh, pre being reunited with the other half of her soul. Um, but yeah, and also I'm really excited to read the new Sylvanas book that's coming out at the end of the month, I believe. I still have to pre-order it, but I'm kind of broke right now, um, but I'll figure out a way <laughs> to make it happen. So thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!